This screencast is for Module 3, Lesson 13, where we use benchmark numbers and fractions to assess the reasonableness of addition and subtraction equations. Let's get started. All right, uh, the first part here, the instructions are, are the following expressions greater than or less than 1? Circle the correct answer. Okay, well, let's take a look at this, and we'll first look at A. And we see that we have 1 half, okay? And we have another fraction that's less than 1 half. If we want to be 1 or greater than 1, we have to have fractions that are equal to half or greater. Half of 7 is 3.5, and 3, 3 and 5 tenths. This is less than half, so we're going to circle less than 1. Looking at B, we know that 5 eighths is greater than half. Uh, 4 eighths is half, so 5 eighths is greater than half. And 2 and 5 tenths would be the numerator representing a half here, although that's unusual. We know that 3 is greater than half of 5, so we have two fractions that are greater than 1 half. So if we have two fractions greater than one half and we're adding them, our sum will be greater than one. Now we have some subtraction. Let's do some reasoning here. We have one and one fourth minus one third. Well, I know that one third is greater than one fourth. So if I subtract one and one fourth minus one third, I know my lesson, my uh, difference is going to be less than 1. Let's take a look at D. Okay, so are we greater or less than 1? Well, let's, let's do a little decomposing here, a little thinking. And if I have 3 minus 2, right, I'm going to have 1 and 5 eighths minus 5 ninths. All right, well, 5 eighths has a smaller denominator. Therefore, 5 eighths is greater than 5 ninths because we have 5 out of 9 parts, whereas we have 5 out of 8 parts here. So we know that our answer is going to be greater than 1. Now, if you're not sure about that, remember what we taught you about comparing fractions. And we can compare these two and again, we'll find our common denominator. That would be 72. And 5 eighths becomes 45 70 seconds. And 5 ninths becomes 40 70 seconds. So we know that that 5 eighths is greater than the 5 ninths. So we're subtracting something less than the 5 eighths. The answer is greater than 1. Let's go on to the next, next task. Are the following expressions, expressions greater than or less than one half? Circle the correct answer. Okay, let's do some reasoning here. Well, we know that two thirds is greater than one half. So if one of our addends is greater than one half, uh, our sum is certainly going to be greater than one half. We have three sevenths minus one eighth. Well, 3 sevenths, 3 is less than half of 7. So we're starting with our minuend is less than 1 half, and now we're subtracting from that. So we know that the answer has to be less than 1 half. C, I have 1 and s 1 and one seventh. That's really close to 1. And then I have 7 eighths. Again, that's close to 1. So... I know that I have a minuend that's close to 1 and a subtrahend that's close to 1. Therefore, I know that my answer is going to be less than 1 half. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We have 3 sevenths plus 2 sixths. Well, 3 sevenths is almost a half. And 2 sixths is pretty close to half because 3 sixths is half. So if we have two fractions that are pretty close to half and we're adding them, we know that our sum will be greater than one half. 
that we have a little bit more here to do, uh, some uh, less than, uh, greater than, or equal to work here to make the following statements true. Uh, let's kind of just reason here. We'll take some notes as we do it. I know that if I find the sum of my whole numbers, I have 8 plus 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. Well, we see 8 and 2 thirds here. And we know that we're adding 3 fourths, so this one must be greater. Let's go well, straight down to C. Again, we'll do the same kind of reasoning. So I have 1, or 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 half, plus 3 sevenths. Okay, well, this one's going to be pretty close, isn't it? Uh, if we take a look at this, we can find our common denominator is... 14. We'll erase that one. And if we convert one half to fourteenths, we have seven. And then we have six here. Uh, these are exactly the same because we know that seven plus six is thirteen. Going on to B. Again, we're going to do some reasoning here. I know that 4 minus 3 is 1, so I have 1 and 5 eighths minus 2 fifths. Well, I have 1 and 5 eighths minus 2 fifths, and on the other side I have 1 and 5 eighths plus 2 fifths. Well, this must be larger because on the left side I'm subtracting from 5 eighths, and on the right side I'm adding to five, 1 and 5 eighths. D, again, doing our little bit of reasoning here. 15 minus 11 is 4. So I have 4 and 4 sevenths minus 2 fifths. With the same kind of reasoning that we used in B, we have this, I, my minuend is the same as my first addend. And on the left side, I am subtracting 2 fifths, whereas on the left side, or on the right side, I am adding 2 fifths, therefore... 15 and 4 sevenths minus 11 and 2 fifths is less than 4 and 4 sevenths plus 2 fifths. Now we're going to go on to some word problems, and this is directly from your homework. I, I'm going to read this, and this one uh, might be a little puzzling to you. We'll lay it out and we'll discuss the results. Uh, a tree limb hangs Four and one, or five and one fourth feet from a telephone wire. The city trims back the branch before it grows within two and a half feet of the water, a wire. So if we get to two and a half feet, they're going to trim it. If it gets more than two and a half feet, they're going to trim it. If they go, if it goes less than two and a half feet, we don't trim it. So when we are done, we're going to have to compare our answer with. 2 and 1 half. We want to know if it's our answer is less than, greater than, or equal to. Let's look at the tape diagram. We know what it is right now. Okay. And the reasoning here is kind of backwards, a little puzzling. Let's draw a little picture here. Suppose I have my tree limb is over here, and my wires here. And right now, we are five and a half feet away. Five and a quarter, excuse me. All right, well, what we're doing is if it grows, it grows this direction. It's going to grow two and three-fourths feet. And then the distance from that wire is represented by that. Well, that looks just like a tape diagram, doesn't it? So we'll, again, make the tape diagram. We have five and one fourth, and we want to see what happens if it grows two and three fourths feet. So this is the growth, and this is the distance from the wire. Okay, so what do we do? 
Well, we look at the tape diagram. That tells us what we have to do. We should know by now what that represents. And once we find our answer, whatever our answer is here, we'll go over here. We'll make a comparison. And if it's less than or equal to two and a half, then the city's going to trim it. If it's greater than, the city's not going to trim it. Okay, let's read this problem. We are going to, I circled the two ahead of time. Mr. Kreider wants to paint two doors and several shutters. It takes two and one eighth gallons of paint to coat each door and one and three fifths gallons to coat all his shutters. If Mr. Kreider buys two or three two gallon cans of paint, does he have enough to complete the job? I'm going to start at the end here. If we have three two-gallon cans of paint, how much do we have? We have three times two is six gallons. Now, let's look at our statement here. Let's first tackle the uh, paint for the two doors. So we have two, uh, he wants to paint two doors, and it takes two and one-eighth gallons of paint to coat each door. So we're going to start our tape diagram. And this represents the two doors, two and one eighth, two and one eighth. And these are the doors. He also needs to paint the shutters, and he requires one and three fifths gallons to paint all those shutters. We know the parts, we don't know the whole. Okay, this tape diagram is very clear. We have all the parts, we find the whole. Whatever our answer is to that question, we need to compare it with the six gallons and reason as to whether or not he has enough paint to complete the job.